in the beginning of the 20th century, if the climber in China don't come to Yangshu to do the rock climbing, they're not the real climbers. Ten years ago, I came to China with the idea to go rock climbing, punched into the internet, China rock climbing, and up came Yangshuo. This has been my semi-permanent home, and it's, it's been rather nice. Yeah, Yangshu just different. It opened my mind. The landscape, it's, it's amazing. You can't, you can't get away from it. You can see all of the beautiful view. Yeah, we can see Yangshu Tang and the Li River. In Yangshu, uh, most people out of the town are still as farmer. The life should be this kind of simple life. No one think one day climbing is going to be popular in Yangshuo. Before I came here, I didn't know it was such a great place for rock climbing. Most of the climbers, they just said to some kind of quite simple thought, just come here. So everybody knows it, not just our secret anymore. Hey, uh, we are here at Li Riverside, down from Yangshuo, and we found this crack. <laughs> it's huge. That crack, actually, I look at that. It's about about ten years ago. With a few of our friends, we get a boat there, and we we check it out. And we always want to boat that, but we, we never make it happen. But this time, we actually make it happen. Take an adventure, push walking to where we start. We're going to develop a new road. Yeah, now it's the first time I come here. It's, uh, we are close to the jungle and see the rock. And then I have, to, I have climbed the first pitch, which is tree bush climbing. <laughs> Touch a little bit of rock, but most of trees. I mean, for everyone, it's not easy work to do with uh, so many equipments on you and climbing and no wall, that's the key. So you don't know what's going on. You might pull out like a loose rock. I used to uh, do or used to like to do adventure climbing. So you climb some wall you've never been to. People haven't totally cleaned that or it's not marked everywhere. So this is totally new. This one will be one of the, the best, I guess, for the view and climbing. Yeah, we are put about the virus. They are scary because I only use a hook. It's very tiny. So, <laughs> so I hold it there, then I put the drill to the boat. Oh, so scary. Dawei lives here in, uh, for seven years from Sichuan. Her strong climber. He climbs over 514. But he's still playing as random climber, not like show off. Yeah, we just, uh, I just did the second bit. Yeah, it's very long. It's not very hot, but it's so dirty. A lot of the guys in Yangshuo, they started because of passion. They're just so eager to do the rock climbing. If I see them, I, I feel so happy. Like, it's gonna be a future, you know? It makes me excited. To climb, you know. Really, rock climbing hasn't changed. What's changed is the way the community is looking at rock climbing. 13 years ago, I came here for traveling. I can say about 20 people climbing that, that moment. 10 years ago, there was 100 routes. Now we got uh, over 1,000 lines, which is uh, the most developed in China. And some of them are like a world classic level. We have White Mountain, it's probably the most popular crag in all of China, maybe even the all of Eastern Asia. If you're a climber, you're always looking for a better place with better views. If you are a brand new climber and you go to the crag, there's immense acceptance. They're encouraging you to do this and that. It's not just this quick inter interaction. It goes deep in through their culture. Locals has been inspired and had learned from this. Before
before it's just learning, now it's more like experiencing and sharing. For the random, one-off backpacker, Yangshuo Nightlife is awesome. Everybody is funneled down to one street. Everything happens right in this one area. Maybe that's the part people like to see. For us, we live here for people who like to be more relaxed and don't want to get too close to others. You can find some place in, in the busiest town, but in the quiet place. You can see in this bar, most just climbers. I mean, it's for the community, for the rock climbers. It's quite purified people. No matter the time just pass by, they don't care about the money, life for the future. They're just quite focused. just to come from the big city. You just to find uh, some quite easy nature and quite relaxed. You don't care about the society. You don't care about all other people, how look at you. And then every day you just go to rock climbing. You don't think the past, the future, only present. You just only focus on every handhold, every foothold. I think when it comes up high, just automatically mental to set up more pressure in there. And you climb under more pressure compared to normal. OK, I'm going to go. It's pretty fun, but it's very scary. It's bold. It's very far for me. But the view is very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, very good climbing. And so you do rock climbing, you have to face on the rock and talk to yourself, challenge yourself achieve yourself, just you and the rock. You end up with, uh, you're getting stronger. You help yourself to get over some difficulty. So I think that's the, the reason that climbing attracts people to play.